Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, let's create this very cool looking Christmas greeting animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. It's very easy to create and looks very, very cool. You can create it and send it to your loved ones and I'm sure they will love it. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. all right guys so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition let's call this render as our main render com width and height i'm going with 2k you can of course go with 1080p or 4k if you want to duration is set to 10 seconds and frame rate is set to 30 fps press ok let's create another new composition with the same exact settings and i'm going to call this title press ok now you can select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want. I'm going to type in Christmas. All right. For the font I'm using, I'm going to go with the smile font, which is really nice for this kind of uh, design and animation. Feel free to experiment with different fonts. All right. Let's select the text layer, right click and go into layer style and let's add a bevel and emboss. Go into bevel and emboss options. I'm going to increase the size to around 10 and bring up the softness to let's say, let's go with something like five or four should be fine. Set the highlight mode to normal and bring up the highlight opacity to 90%. All right. So that is looking good. Now let's go ahead and add some color to this. Also make sure you bring down the shadow mode to screen and yeah, let's set this to 40 percent. You cannot see the shadows yet, but as soon as we add a nice gradient over this, things are going to look really nice. So I'll go again and select the layer, right click, go into layer style and let's add a gradient overlay and I'm going to go into gradient overlay, set the angle to 45 and increase the scale to around 150. Now let's click on edit gradient and I'm going to select this point. And let's add a nice yellow color or something like a lighter tone. Click to create a new point and give it a much more intensified yellow. Let's create another point and again, give it a lighter tone. One more, give it a darker one. And basically we are trying to create this nice pattern that you see. So I can pick up the same yellow from here and it looks quite nice. So that is looking quite nice. Let's duplicate this, press control D and I'm going to drag this right here. Type in Merry Christmas, bring down the text size like so. And duplicate this one more time. And I'm going to type in Happy New Year. So this is looking really nice, I think. Okay, let's check the alignment. I think it's proper. So our text is ready. Now let's go back into our main render composition and let's create a revealing animation for our text. So to do that, I'm going to go right here into the shape layer, select the ellipse tool and you can double click to create an ellipse. We don't need any stroke. We just need the fill. I'm going to set this to white and let's go into ellipse path one. Hold Alt and double click on the link tool. This is going to create a perfect circle like this. Let's rename this to mask. Select the layer, go into effects and presets and search for roughen edge effect. Let's set the edge type from roughen to spiky and increase the border size. I think to around 60 should be fine. So we have this nice borders as you can see right here. And let's bring down the edge sharpness to 0.70 and increase the um, complexity up to by around three or four should be good. Now we can animate the evolution. So we have this nice animated borders that you can see right here. So let's go at the very start. Let's set this to zero and uh, create a keyframe go all the way up to 10 seconds. And I'll set this to two. So now we have this nice evolution on the edges. Pretty good. Select the layer again, go into effects and presets and search for an effect called turbulent noise. 
double click to apply that set the fractal type from basic to dynamic twist and i'll leave the noise tab at linear let's increase the contrast to around 1500 and bring down the brightness to minus 250 or something unless all the particles or all these fractals are out of the frame so we have complete black layer like so so minus 400 should be good increase the complexity to around 12. all right so now i'm going to animate the contrast brightness so i'm going to create a new keyframes right here at the very start and also i'm going to press s to bring down the scale property create a keyframe on the scale and set this to zero basically press u so we can see all the keyframes that we have created go to three seconds and let's first of all increase the scale like so bring up the brightness like this and also bring down the contrast to around 1000 and let's increase the brightness like so so our layer turns completely white like this so now we have something like so okay so this is looking really nice now let's go back into our project panel and drag the title composition below the mask layer and set the track mat of this to luma mat so now this mask is going to act as a revealing layer for our text and it's looking really really cool as you can see pretty nice now I'll press Ctrl Y to create a new solid, call this BG for background and turn it into a black layer. Okay, so now we have this nice reveal. Now let's add some particles that we have here. By the way, you can download this complete project file for free. Link is in the description and you will get access to all these assets that I will be using in this tutorial. So firstly, I'm going to add the particles layer that I have here okay and set the blend mode of this to add then go into effects and presets and search for glow effect double click to apply that now this is very important that you switch to 32 bits per channel so hold alt and click twice right here so now we are working in 32 bits and now if i go into my glows we can add some really nice glow to this so let's bring down the glow threshold to around 50 and let's increase the glow radius all the way up to 150 and increase the glow intensity to 2. So now we have this nice intense glowing particles which looks really nice. Now we need to change the duration of this particular layer. So I'm going to go right here, right click, go into columns and add stretch and let's set this to around 60 percent should be fine. Then duplicate this, press Ctrl D. Let's move this a few frames forward and scale this up by around 1. 30 or 120 should be fine so now we have smaller particles and then we have bigger ones so it adds a nice level of detail to reveal our text which is looking quite nice all right perfect now on top of this i will add some dust particles just like so let's scale this up so it fits the complete frame like that and then i will add glow on this as well let's bring that down increase the glow radius okay and then let's add a curves adjustment on this like so and then change the blend mode of this to screen so now we have this nice particle overlay okay that is looking perfect and finally i will add a layer of light leaks that i have right here scale this down set a blend mode of this to screen and again i'm going to add some curves on this and let's adjust this and then press t and bring down the opacity a little bit so set this to around 75 and let's preview this and there you go as you can see it's looking quite amazing and it's super easy to create again and you can change the text anytime that you want and also i'm going to add a little bit of a camera kind of a movement to this so it doesn't stay still so i'm going to create a new adjustment layer called this t for transform go into effects and presets search for transform effect double click to apply that go at the very start create a keyframe on the scale go to five seconds and let's set this to around 120. so now we have a little bit of zooming movement like so 
pretty cool and there you have your christmas text animation or christmas greeting animation inside of after effects so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial do let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it and i wish you all a merry christmas and a very happy new year i hope you have fun and all the best for 2024 with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out